Another one, this is the game that I played against Lady Killer. Um, it was a very strange game. I played D4, F5, Dutch defense, nice, nice C3, e6, <coughs> and now E4. Bishop is 7. I didn't know this line, and I thought to play simply to develop the pieces now. So I played Knight F3, Knight F6, and now I think E5 is a good move because I'm attacking the Knight, Knight Knight has enough good squares, and after Knight E5. I can simply trade and I have easy development, so no problem for white. Bishop d3, castle and castle. d6, logical move to try to remove the weakness, the double pawns in the d file. I played bishop f4 to take the square e5. I, I say, okay, we can remove your weakness, but I will take the square e5 that in this position is very important. Because the square is weak, so it's a very important square in this position, e5. Next, c6, c3, g5. I don't like it because uh, uh, the black doesn't take nothing after this move, and it weakens uh, his castle, so g5 is a mistake, and I simply take only 6 first. He take and I go back on c1. Mm, I go back on c1 to free the square d2 for the knight. g4. On turn. Yeah, not in this case to free the square, but only to have the bishop free when he push. It's important for me to have this bishop free in this position. Okay, g4, 91. Yeah, I play down 91 and not 92 because 92 could be another choice, but uh, 91 is better because uh, after that I can go on C2 on E3 so I can replace my knight in a good position easily, especially because D5 is an important weakness. So Bishop G5 and now Knight C2. A5, I don't like it because I don't understand why he played this move. Um, Knight before is not a threat, so I don't understand it. F3. Uh, F3 I think is very important because his attack I think is very strange, is bad. Now, few pieces is attacking. I have more pieces in the king side. So now I open the position with the 3 because for me it's better find a counter attack now in the king side because I have more pieces. So b6, f take g4. If he take, there is rook takes f8, and he has to take with the king. So f4, queen f3, easy move. I attack f5, I attack d5. And sometimes I can, I can <coughs> threaten it. 97, and now g3. The pawn is pinned. The bishop is without a defender, so I remove this pawn f4. That could be dangerous. And now g takes f4, bishop b7. Okay, I can't take now the bishop because the queen is in the same file of the rook, so the pawn now is spinning. But I can play first queen knight 3, mate, and after knight g6, I take it and I take it. Rook takes f1, and now I play the king takes f1 and check. Now probably I made a mistake, I played the king g2, I didn't see queen b5, it's very nice. And in this position I didn't see queen e3, that can help me to defend his leader position, because after queen f1 check, I can play king g3, and when I want, I can develop the bishop, because the knight, the knight is defending the rook. I didn't see it in the game, and I played king g3. It's okay, I'm better, but I give some chance of black now. Queen e2, bishop f4. <coughs> I give back the knight. Queen takes, rook e1. And now, bishop a6. Rook e7, I play to mate on h7. 
check and bishop e3, rook f7, rook e8, rook f8. I was not sure about the trade on f8 because this endgame with the queens is very hard to win, so I played this move. And after bishop c8, I thought to play in the same way. And I, and I choose it to trade because I didn't see other option for me and I play the check now I can take the bishop because if I take the bishop black will take my bishop and this is broad because there is the perpetual check I played queen f6 king e8 and now my only idea could be defend my king so queen f3 is forced and now I think the black made a mistake. Queen e4 is wrong. I think queen e4 is a mistake. The black should try to play with the queens in the game. So could play for example f4 or other moves. Bishop d7. Um, the important is don't try the queen now. After queen e4, I think the game is lost because this end game is good for me. I played king e4 and. This should be 7. I played c4. b5. And after b5, I'm sure I can win because I have one free pawn and I can make another free pawn in the h file. So after that, I'm sure I will win it. Um, but also, if the black doesn't play it, uh, I don't know what the black can do. For example, we can imagine bishop a6. I can play b3 and now how they found this pawn if d5 I can push e5 or I can take and I have a new free pawn it's not so important for me if the black will have two united passive pawn now because my king can block that and um, yeah this and game should be win for me so yeah trade the queen was bad it was an important mistake and after that I win because we should be seven to defend the pawn. I played c4, b5, and after that c takes b5, a4. Uh, yeah, because if it doesn't play a4, I can play a4, and after that we should d2, then I can take the pawn a5. So we played a4 for this reason h4, king f7, h5, b5, b6. It's not possible to take it because. My pawn will go to promotion. King g7, h6 check. King g8 and bishop d2. Simple idea is uh, take this pawn, have a new important square for my king and support my pawns. Bishop b7, bishop b4. And now the black resigns because uh, simply after d5, my king can go to have my pawn b. The black has to sacrifice his bishop for the pawn, and then the game will be an easy victory for white.